Hello there my darlings, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are well and keeping safe. If you're new here, my name is Adwish, welcome. If you're coming back, then hey, welcome back. So my channel is Adwish Alamode and I love all things fabulous, honey. <laughs> if you love that too, then make sure you stick around. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, my handle is at Adwish Alamode where I share all things fabulous too. So darlings, let's get into today's video. <laughs> So guys, in today's video, we will be discussing the basics of looking expensive and well put together. You guys always ask me questions around this and I recently made a video of how to look expensive and we just covered the fundamentals of how to look expensive where this video today is basically going through the steps of building your outfits um, and kind of like sharing with you my thought process as well and how I personally build my outfits. My style is very chic, my style is very classic um at times conservative definitely very elevated and feminine okay so tip number one to creating your outfit is to know the occasion so what's the occasion that you've been invited to is it a party is it a christening is it a barbecue is it a um, brunch is it afternoon tea once you know your um location and you know where you're the occasion as a whole it will allow you to um pick your outfit and to be kind of uh, and research what people People usually wear to these kind of occasions this is what I do when I've when I've been invited somewhere I, I research the location I research what people usually wear to to that type of occasions and then I go to stores or I look online and I think of my own body and how I could then dress for this occasion so once you establish your location establish the occasion then you can really now start to plan your outfit but before you plan your outfit you need to also consider the weather so I always look at the weather before I get dressed because I need to make sure that I'm dressed appropriately for the weather so if you know that it's going to be raining and the occasion is outside maybe in a park or a picnic then it's not gonna happen but if you know that it's in a hall or a venue and you're gonna be hopping in at a taxi once we have that out of the way then you can get into planning your outfit so before we start the planning of the outfit I always suggest for you to select three fashion icons or three influences that you resonate with that you um, you know whose fashion you love I say this because then it helps you to break down what you like like once you find those three people that you really love their fashion sense and how they style things together um, ask yourself why do you like them why do you like their fashion why do you resonate with it once you find those answers so if it's because they're classy if it's because they're edgy if, if it's because they're very feminine then you can really apply these to when you are shopping so once you have your three icons out of the way the next step is to plan 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 so when I'm planning my outfits I like to go to sites such as Pinterest um, Pinterest Instagram okay so as soon as you see an outfit that you like or love save it save it save it save it you may not find the exact same pieces and I don't recommend you getting the exact same pieces because that's just copying isn't it so maybe get the vibe that you like get the um, the mood and everything from this look and create something similar okay and use this as a guide what I also do is go to sites such as Netta Porter um, Selfridges Harris ASOS and Mango Zara and just see how they style pieces as well this helps me out a lot and I love reading blogs such as who what where um, Vogue online just to kind of see what's in trend and what everybody else is wearing what designers are creating and look at fashion shows and stuff like that and see how I can then create my outfits but obviously if you're not really into fashion like that and you're trying to elevate your style then I would definitely suggest you go in on Instagram um, every time you see an outfit that you resonate with just save it <laughs> save it to your collections and then go back um, to it so the first essential basic that every woman needs in order to look expensive elevated and classy in spring throughout every season actually is a good blazer now I'm wearing a grey one at the minute just to switch it up a little bit and but I do have a black pair and I also have a cream pair which I will showcase to you guys later but why I particularly love a good blazer is because blazers are very iconic you cannot go wrong with a blazer and they just 
just look effortlessly beautiful and adds texture to any outfit and I just love how it fits and it can take you from occasion to occasion because it gives you that rich auntie vibes, it gives you that bossy and CEO behavior and I'm here for it and I love it. This one is from Zara and it's a double breasted and um, Balmain sort of style and I love this because it's a great color, great fit and I'll just pull my hair back so you can see that it has a great fit. It's kind of reminding me of the Balenciaga one a little bit but I love this. I styled it with a black tank top which is from Nasty Girl and these trousers are from Zara they are the split hem trousers at the front and I really love this look I think it's elevated so this is outfit number one just to style it up a little bit I would go ahead and show you how I can elevate this um this is a great look for work and I can wear this so many different ways and I can wear this outfit to many different occasions in my opinion this looks elevated it's very simple but it looks very detailed it looks like I took my time to get ready if I wanted to make it a bit more rich on tea and bossy i would add my shades i'm gonna add these and i'm gonna add my prada bag this is like my favorite bag of the season this is how i would style this look if i was going to brunch if i wanted to just elevate it a little bit more um if i was on a lunch break or something and i wanted to feel bougie i wanted to look expensive this is how i would style the look so taking it back to basics and like i mentioned in my previous videos classy women never show a lot of skin they are very conservative and very much appreciate the modest sort of fashion and this is a great example of high class modest outfit but still quite edgy and still giving you bossy vibes and showing a tiny bit of skin so like I always say it's best to stick to two or three colors at a time I genuinely prefer to wear two colors but sometimes I do three depending on my mood so this is a great example sticking with the blazer showing you another example of how you can wear a blazer and I feel like this outfit can be very appropriate for work for dinner for outings at church for any occasion okay and that's why i pretty much dress for any occasion and the skirt that i'm wearing is satin adding a really nice um texture the blazer adds a nice structure so again the look is elevated all the way around and the skirt is from primark the top is from primark the blazer is from zara just to show you that you do not need to break the bank to look expensive this is the perfect example of looking expensive doesn't have to break the bank so all I've done here is switched the blazers. I took off the grey blazer and replaced it with the cream one. This is also from Zara. I've come closer for the details. And you guys, if you've been following me for a while, then you definitely have seen this in my channel before. I love this blazer. Again, it's that Balmain effect sort of blazers. And I love the gold details. And it just goes to show that this looks very rich. The colour is in the cream and not white. You guys know that I try to stay away from white. I don't think it's flattering on me. And in my eyes, white it tends to look a bit cheap cream looks a lot more luxurious and just a lot more um flattering for me personally um and i love the fit of this this is quite of an oversized longer blazer but i love the i love the structure that is added to my outfit and this is this was like 80 quid more on the higher price tag but i think it's a great investment so it's great to invest in your standout pieces like your blazers and so this is the outfit full on what i love about blazers is that they can equally look amazing with skirts, with trousers, with jeans, trainers, flats, anything. <laughs> you can make it work with anything and my favourite is definitely this one, the previous one and I'm just going to show you the black one now and this is just to show you how important it is to invest in a good blazer because you can wear it so many different ways. So sticking with the outerwear, the next piece that I think everybody needs in their wardrobe to look expensive, to look elevated without breaking the bank is a good trench coat now trench coats has been around for centuries and centuries and what i love about them is the fact that they really do add structure and just elevate any outfit you can wear them casually with trainers you can wear them for work there there's no occasion that you cannot wear a trench coat too and that's why i think it's an amazing and statement piece that you need um, and feel free to invest in a good one if you like but there are stores like h&m zara ASOS and Mango, 
uh, Bershka, so many high street retailers are now creating their own. Mine is from Jaguar and I really love this. Um, and it was quite on the pricey side, around a hundred and something pounds. But nonetheless, I love this because I think it looks effortless and it just really brings spring vibes to my outfit. And what I love about trench coats is the fact that they are seasonal. You can wear them in autumn, you can wear them in spring, summer, maybe not in the winter because they're super lightweight. I just think she switched the top to a white tank top and with the same trousers, just to show you how basic but elevated this looks. If you wanted to, to dress it up a little bit, you could wear like a blouse or a shirt underneath just to give it that extra elevation. I love that this trench coat actually comes with a belt. I can remove this belt and insert a different belt if I wanted to, just to add some edge to it if I wanted to, but I've just gone really simple with a white tank top and a bag um, and just literally the same trousers and the same shoes and I think this looks elevated, this looks expensive. So I think it's very important to really invest in your outerwear and your nice pieces that will make any outfit because nobody will know that my tank top is eight pounds from ASOS, you know, and these trousers were 30 quid from um, and uh, Zara. <laughs> also let me know if you want to continue watching videos like this where I take you through the steps of creating your outfits, choosing fabrics and dressing for your body shape. I would love to know what you guys think and if you're finding this helpful and getting value out of it so far, give me a massive thumbs up. <laughs> So moving on now to tops, the essential basic that I think every woman needs in her wardrobe to look expensive this spring is a white button up shirt. You cannot go wrong with a white button up shirt because it goes with everything and it's perfect for any occasion. You can wear it to work, you can wear it out on a casual day. I will style it in other casual chic ways for you to see. So this one is from Zara and I've had it for a while. As you can see, it, it buttons up all the way up, but just to add some structure, I just like to make it a bit messy around here and I just love a white shirt because it's crisp and it just looks insane. I just roll up my sleeves as you can see to add some attitude to it but you can definitely wear it however you want. Okay, so another trick that I like to do for the shirt is to just to pair it with jeans. So I think this is simple but elevated. I've just got simple jeans. These are actually from Primark <laughs> but this is just to show you another look as well and how you can wear it. Sticking with the tops, we are now moving to tank tops. Ladies and gentlemen, you definitely need a good tank top this spring. And I think throughout the whole year, actually, you need a good tank top. And this one is from ASOS and I love it. It's a little bit see-through, but I like how thin the material is and I like a good V-neck. So if you are into crew neck, anything like that, they definitely grab what you like. But this is just a simple way to show you, I'm gonna grab my glasses, how you can definitely elevate any look I'm gonna add my sunglasses because accessorizing is the best way to elevate your outfit and I love how simple these are but very effective they just add a really effortless look and feel to any outfit you can dress them up you can dress them down I could definitely throw a blazer on top of this just to elevate it a little bit more and I, I love how simple it is but yet very classy and what I love about the outfits that I'm showing you is the fact that they can work for any body shape any body shape, whether you're curvy, whether you're straight, whether you're somewhere in between, whether you're tall or petite, it could work for any body shape and any height. It's just about being confident in what you select and being confident in your body and owning the, the pieces that you're putting on your body because the worst thing that can happen is that the clothes are starting to wear you. You need to wear the clothes, so therefore you need to be confident, you know? Like I've gained a bit of weight, my waist is nowhere to be seen, but it's coming back. <laughs> so guys, so sticking with the tops, the next piece that I think everybody needs in their wardrobe to look elevated this spring is a camisole. Just because they simply add a chic and effortless look to any outfit. Again, they can be worn for many different occasions and you can find so many different styles of them. You can get the spaghetti stripes, but I personally prefer this kind of camisole um, because I'm quite big busted. So I feel like this kind of balances out my body well. 
well. So um, another tip to look inexpensive actually, it's all about knowing your body and what looks better on you so that you can find pieces that are flattering for your body type. Um, but for me, I love this one, it's from Zara. And I think it's the only one that I have at the Sorry. minute. Moving on now to the next section of the video, we are talking all things at trousers. And I think trousers are such an essential um, to elevate your outfit for looking expensive during the springtime. I particularly love a nice cream one and the black one. Unfortunately, the ones that I do have here are not fitting me anymore because I have gained some pounds during the lockdown. I personally love high-waisted trousers because I feel like they really do help to elongate my body and uh, all it just makes everything look a lot more well put together and it just makes your outfit look um, intentional and I think that is a great factor to looking expensive because you need to look like you've put time into your outfit and some thought behind it as well so researching really goes a long way like I mentioned before don't be afraid to like go to ASOS, Zara, um, Netta Porter, Instagram, um, what's the other one and go to Pinterest and if you see anything that you like screenshot it, save it and just work around it or go to your favourite blogger, your favourite style icon and just kind of see how they play around with fashion and how they play around with colours and how they dress for their body type and see how you can incorporate that for your body type. But I think another essential that you need to look expensive this um, spring, I was going to say winter, <laughs> is a nice cold um, that could be a skirt and a matching top it could be trousers and a matching top a matching shirt it could be any type of uh, matching set basically that you um, will need to look expensive this um, spring because they genuinely just look so effortless and elevated automatically the one I'm wearing now is from Zara now if you watched my Zara haul then you have definitely seen this this is the Jacquemus um, inspired um, set um, which I really love and I think it looks very elevated I love this set I think it looks dressy this is very much appropriate for work appropriate for lunch brunch um, meetings you can wear this to go shopping you can wear this for many different occasions with some nice white heels or um, gold Gold sandals, gold heels would look really nice and elevated and a nice clutch bag. You guys know that I love a split on my skirt and this isn't too high so it's still quite conservative and um, still quite modest at the same time with just a little bit of skin on show. Okay my darlings, so the last category and the last piece of clothing that I will be showing you are dresses. So I love dresses, my style is very feminine so I incorporate dresses every season whether it's spring, Summer, autumn, winter, I love to wear dresses. And especially in the spring, I feel like it's just so nice and so breathable. And I think it's important to have pieces that can take you from day to evening, okay? So if you're a working boss, a CEO, boss babe, <laughs> if you work in the office. So this dress could be perfect for work. And at the same time, it's super elevated. It can be worn casually. I could definitely wear these with sandals. I could wear them with um, with trainers. I just love the gold details it really just helps to elevate this look and it's just a really nice fit I love that it's not too tight it's very giving and a black is very forgiving as well so I just love that I love that it has pockets as well and um, the gold detailing on black just looks effortless and just so expensive and for something more modern, I went for this gorgeous H&M dress, which I love. I love the texture of it, but I love that I can wear it for many different occasions. And it's just very flowy, giving me that Marilyn Monroe sort of vibe, um, but it can be easily elevated. And I really love things like this because it's so effortless and it can honestly take you from day to evening. It's just so simple. So lastly, in terms of dresses, another style that I really love, which I have but I cannot find at the minute, so I'll pop up pictures here, is a cami silk dress, okay? For full silk, if you like. Mine is from um, Zara and it's a black one. The reason why I love these is because they're just so effortless. They go well with everything and you can can wear it to work um, you can put a white shirt underneath a white t-shirt or you could wear like a turtleneck jumper if you like and in the evenings you can just take off the top or the jumper and turn it into a cami sort of dress and I think that could be uh, an instant outfit which just looks effortless and intentional and again the material is beautiful faux silk is obviously very soft and feels amazing on the skin um, it really reflects well on the body as well and 
and it just hugs the right places um, again I always go up a size with mine just because um, I don't want it to demonstrate the body because looking expensive it's all about wearing things that are a lot more um, looser on the body rather than super fitted. So darlings we've come to the end of the video I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching my basics that you need to look expensive let me know if you agree with the tips that I've shared with the pieces that I've showed you what are the basics that you love that you need in order to look expensive I would love to know and when I say expensive I mean well put together and well presented and in some respect classy so please do let me know what you think of the video and if you enjoyed it give me a massive thumbs up follow me on my Instagram where I share a lot of my inspirations a lot of fashion tips as well thanks for watching bye